What is going on guys? Welcome back to another Fishing with Sepper episode. Today, we're at a spot that is personally one of my favorite fishing spots. Mostly because there's such a variety of fish we can catch here. And there's also just monsters that can be lurking through here. As well as up towards this little dam area here. So I think we're going to have some great luck today. We've got the new rod and reel here with us, my new favorite. So I'm pretty excited to get casted out in this water. Let's see what kind of luck we can get here today. One thing I've noticed at this spot already is that it's very buggy. A lot of mosquitoes here at this spot. So that's not going to be very fun, but if we keep moving, I don't think we'll have a problem. But what we're going to be starting out with here so we got a little swivel that goes to a nice rooster tail. I've had some good luck with this color so far. It's like a brown trout color with a gold spinner. So that's what we're gonna start out with. We might switch to a spoon if we don't get any luck pretty soon here. But we're gonna see what we can do with this rooster tail to start out with. I can't tell if we were getting bit right there or not. We kept getting like weird little jolts in the water. It was like do 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 do. It's very strange. It's pretty murky through this part of the river. I'm not sure if we're gonna get any luck in here or not. I think we'll get more luck up in here. So we're gonna cast way out there. This new rod and reel is great for casting far distances. Got quite a bit of mud here. We keep sinking down a little bit. Worst comes to worst. If we have to, I'll go right up over on that ledge and we'll fish under the bridge. But I really just wanna start out here. Got a lot of mosquitoes and bugs around us right now. There we go, fish on, boys. Oh, did he come off? I think it might be, he either came off or, no, we got him on still. Nice. Go ahead and get the net ready here. This is a wild rainbow. Got the net upside down. There we go. Starting off strong here, boys. Got luck pretty quick here at this spot. He's a squirmy little guy ripping holes in his mouth he gobbled it down pretty good so i'm gonna go ahead and get our pliers out just to help assist us and get this hook out of him he is so squirmy there we go we'll get a nice little look at him here just a beautiful wild rainbow just a small little guy we'll let him go right out here there he goes back out into the wild that's crazy. When I was fishing here about, when I was fishing here at the beginning of the season and even uh, last year, there was no wild rainbows through here. But ever since the flood, there's been wild rainbows all through this river going up. And it looks like they're starting to come downstream too. So we're gonna, gonna, we're gonna go right in the same kind of area. See if maybe we can get something bigger here. There we go, another fish. Oh wait, did it come off? He might have came off. Yeah, he came off. We got bit. I'm pretty sure I set the hook on him good, but it could be we just missed him. I think they're sitting right in the middle there. Let's see if we can get another bite. Nothing on that cast. I might try going up a little bit further. There we go. We'll see if anything's kind of sitting on the sides here. I was kind of going in the middle before. Since we're reeling it back to us, I kind of have to reel a little bit faster. But I think they also kind of like that. Oh yeah, we're over in a good spot there. We can bring it right across this fast water. Thought we got bit there for a second. All right, I want to get back up in the middle there. Oop. All right, I'm going to put us right back in the middle where we got uh, that one bite and we caught that one rainbow. Even though I failed that cast, I kind of went more over towards the side there. One thing I've continuously noticed this year all through fishing is that uh, it seems like brown trout really love spoons and rainbow trout really love the rooster tails and the spinners. Panther martins have kind of been a mix up, gotten fish on both of those. But when it comes to rooster tails, I've always gotten a lot more rainbow trout than anything. I'm gonna let that sink for a little bit before retrieving it in. See if some are sitting deeper there. Oh, whoa, 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 we just got throttled. We just got throttled just right here in front of us. 
I think one followed it in, and once he saw that it was getting shallow, he just throttled us. That was a good bite. That was a decent fish. I'm gonna try casting more across from us. That way I can feel the motion a little bit. We don't have to reel it in as fast. I'm gonna try over here too. A little bit more in the murky water, but I think that there's gonna be some big fish just sitting in these deep holes. This was a very good spot before this river got all murky. I think it's pretty clear through here. I don't think it's that murky. All right, we're gonna go back to casting up above us here. We weren't really getting any luck casting down below. Oh boy, I think we're snagged. <sighs> I think we might have broke off. That's all right, we're gonna try a spoon, I think. I'm curious if we can get brown trout with spoons. If we catch a, a brown trout on a spoon right now, then that pretty much solidifies my theory that brown trout like spoons and rainbow trout like uh, spinners. Just gotta figure out what color uh, spoon I wanna use here. Take a look at what we got. Maybe I'll just do like a gold, gold spinner maybe. Because all the other spoons I have are pretty big. So I think we're gonna go with just the simple gold. I haven't really had much luck with the gold, but maybe that'll change today. I'm going with one that's smaller because I, now that I know that there's some wild rainbows up in here, that are not the biggest, we'll be able to catch those too with this spoon. I think I just saw a fish jump right over here. I'm not sure because I just turned my head, but I could have sworn that I saw something jumping out of the water. Good thing about the spoon too, is that we can kind of cast in that murky water and jig it. And if there is any fish in there, they'll be able to see it a lot better. I think that's what we're gonna do to start out. I'll do some reeling in with this spoon, but it's mostly gonna be jigging for now. The spoon is so light. It makes it really hard to uh, tell how hard to jig it. Oh, we just got bit. We got bit as soon as I uh, was just reeling it in. So maybe we will just reel it in. With jigging it, there's a good chance that uh, we'll get snagged, so. We'll just do typical reeling in for now. Oh, he's got bit. I think that was a smaller one. We missed the hook set on him. I think they are sitting over on that far side. It's gonna reel it right through this fast stuff. We are not getting much luck with the spoon right now. So we might switch back to a rooster tail. It could also just be the color of the spoon that's causing the problems. Because we have had some nibbles, but I just don't think the spoon is as good as the rooster tail here today. I'm gonna try casting it just right out in that water there. See if we can catch something out in that deep stuff out in the main river. It's gonna give it a couple jigs. Oh, we got a snag there for a second. Here we go, fish on. This is just a little guy. I mean like tiny. We'll get him right up in the net. He's a good fighter though. Small, but a good fighter. And this is another wild rainbow trout too. It's crazy how many are here at this spot now. <sighs> we already got our pliers right out of here, so. There we go, boys. Another wild rainbow trout. We'll get him right back in the water. I don't know where all the uh, brown trout are out through here, but. We sure are getting a lot of uh, wild rainbow trout. I'm gonna get it right back out there and we're gonna do the same thing. Let's jig it right out in the deep stuff. That little guy was a jumper though. <laughs> Need that wind to settle down for a little bit. All right, we're right back out, right on the side of that fast water. I think there might be some trout just sitting right here in this hole. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, I think we were just getting bit. I mean, it felt like we had a fish on there for a second. Let's get it right out of that same area. Got a lot of wind picking up here now too. 
in the, the episode after this one. Um, I know in some of my videos we've had a wind problem, so uh, I finally got a wind muffler for the GoPro. So that when we come out here and it's windy, we won't have to worry about that loud distorted wind noise anymore. Because I know that that can really uh, make the videos not so fun to watch. So that should hopefully be coming in within the next day or two. So even though we caught a fish with this, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna tie on maybe a Panther Martin. I just don't think we're getting enough bites with this lure right now. So I think I have a brand new Panther Martin in here. We got two of them actually. We got a small one and we have this bigger one. The smaller one we're saving for uh, next time we go brook trout fishing. Cause that's just a brook trout gold mine. Let's go ahead and get this new one out of the package here. Time for us to break her in. All right. Okay, so we made it under the bridge. The water is running really fast through here. I'm across right here where I can kind of jump across without breaking my neck. The last time I was here, they were kind of camping out over under the bridge. Let's see if any are still over there. try casting over here a little bit too. So far, I haven't gotten a single follow or bite from up above. I think I'm gonna let it sit over here and then I'll do a nice slow retrieve, bringing it through this deep gully right here. And if we don't get any luck, if we don't get any luck, I'm gonna come fish down here where the fast running water is. We're gonna come down here. We gotta be super careful because we don't wanna get dragged in here. But we can come stand down here. Oh, this is perfect right here. Huh. I would have thought we would have had a lot more luck over here. Simply because this is a lot closer to where we were catching all of them because we were just sitting right up in here. So I'm kind of letting this one sink a little bit. Alrighty, so we just broke off again. So I'm gonna tie on one more bait. If we lose that one, we're done for the day. But I wanted to switch back to a spoon anyways, just to see if it maybe be better over at this side. I don't know, but that's what we're gonna tie on. All right, this is what I picked out right here. It's a smaller spoon, but it's a rainbow trout color. So I think it'll do better than the gold. I think the color will just bring the life right out of the water. So we're gonna get this tied on. Got this all tied on. Let's get you guys on the hat and see what we can do with this bait. Alrighty, there we go. Tied on, brand spanking new, looking good. We're gonna try over here again. 
with this spoon. Let's see if maybe we can get a bite now that we got this nice rainbow trout spoon. All right, we're back over here. I'm gonna cast it right in the middle where it's a little bit more calm. And we're gonna sit here and we're just gonna jig it right in that spot. Whoa, whoa, big brown. Big brown just swiped us. Oh my God. My, how, my heart is pounding right now. Let's see if we can get him to bite. He came right from the deep. So we're gonna get right up in there and we'll jig it for him. Oh, he's on it, he's on it. Guys, that's a big fish. That is a very big fish. I'm gonna bring it, I'm gonna cast it right in the middle and I'm gonna reel it right over top of there because he keeps coming up for it. Oh my God, that is a big fish. If we want to break in our new rod, then that's the fish we need to catch. All right, let's cast it right there in the white water. All right, we're going to give that fish a break and we're going to tie on a bigger spoon. We need to entice him more to bite. I need something a little heavier too to be able to get down deeper in that fast water. <sighs> It doesn't look like I have a big rainbow trout, but I do have this nice big kind of rainbow E trout color. Let's hope that this big spoon will get that big old trout to bite. If we can land that big brown, then we will definitely call this fishing trip a huge success. But this is how it usually goes in the past couple episodes is that I'll catch a couple wild rainbows and then I'll finish it off with a nice brown. So maybe that's what we can do here again today. Catch two wild rainbows and finish it off with a nice big brown trout. Alrighty, now it's the moment of truth. We're gonna test just how much this rod can handle and see if we can catch a big old fish with this rod. All right, he was right up in there. Let's see if he wants this. We're gonna do what we did before. We'll cast it right over in the middle there. We'll let it sink. And we'll just bring it right across this water. Ah, oh, where is this fish? He's still got to be in here somewhere. We're going to catch him somehow, some way. Alrighty guys, we switched up bait one last time. We're going back to the old trusty foe. This one's the blue and silver. So I'm hoping since it's been a while, I'm hoping that this one fish that's sitting right over here will maybe bite the phobe. Uh, the old trusty phobe looks so good in the water. We just had a, uh, I think it was a rainbow trout I was coming and swiping at it.
I don't think this fish is gonna bite. So we're gonna move on down here real quick. We're gonna give it a couple casts and see if maybe we can get any bites up here. Alrighty guys, that's gonna conclude another episode of Fishing with Sepper. Thank you guys so much for coming with me today on this journey. We can't say that we didn't get lucky. We had two wild rainbow trouts right at the beginning. Can't complain with that. Really wish we would have gotten that big brown though. That would have been really sweet. But anyways, thank you guys all again for stopping on by. And we'll catch you guys next Sunday on another episode. Alright, see you later guys.